This is another please everybody coffee. Not aggressively dark roast, little, probably medium dark in the current language. A little darker than the last. But it doesn't have as much interest in the nose to me. It doesn't have those little, much of the fruit and uh, floral notes. It's a little one-dimensional in the aromatic range. There's some richness though, right? Some chocolatey, caramelly sort of notes, maybe yeah. even a kind of a buttery note. That's I pleasant. definitely get that, yeah. But it doesn't have the high notes that the Ralph Lauren La Colombe coffee had. I'm not getting the floral or peach notes, dried peach maybe. Could be pruney plum on the edge. Mm. What are you getting in the nose? No, I get the butter. I definitely, I get. It's it, to me. It's I. I get a little. It seems a little darker just from the nose. Yeah. A little darker than the Ralph Lauren. I think there was an effort when they roasted it to suppress the acidity. The Ralph Lauren allowed some of the the brightness, a little bit of the brightness of the coffee to emerge. This, I think, is pretty much. The roast is pretty much sitting on the coffee, I think, in the, now that I taste it in the cup. It has a sweet finish, though. Yeah. I actually like the finish the best. I think the finish yeah. is about the two so far. Nice mouthfeel. The certain kind of uh, liveliness, a little bounce to the mouthfeel. I know that's a kind of a metaphor that will sound pretentious to some people, but <laughs> sometimes the mouthfeel of coffees have more liveliness. Well, that roast is sitting on it, you know, there's a little kind of dry roastiness that's sitting on the aromatics of the coffee and the flavors. And I get the roast and the finish too, it's a pleasant. So this was probably designed by somebody who felt, well, there are a lot of people who like dark roasts, some people like medium roasts. I think both of these go for a middle middle midpoint in that continuum but this one is leaning more towards the dark i don't know what kind of celebrity i would guess maybe an actor who has kind of slightly tough edge <laughs> but not i'm too laughing because i i not know too tough. I, 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 <laughs> well i'm finished i'll listen to well, what you have to say i don't have a whole lot to add because the moment that i taste it's a little darker i tend to I, I get maybe easily distracted, but by that, and all of a sudden I go, well, yeah. you know, when the people roast, and this may be something everyone in our audience doesn't know, maybe they do, but they will now, is when they go further in the roast, they, they tend to peel off more of the, uh, by taking the acidity off, not to be confused with acid, acidity is the, is a lot of the defining characteristics, it's the the high end. I agree. I'm, I'm guessing that the the roast makes it hard to tell, but it has no African, no Ethiopia in it like uh, the Ralph Lauren because I don't get any floral notes, not much fruit. So it's probably just Latin American. It could just be a Colombia, kind of standard issue Colombia. Good, solid. I'm wondering if it has any Brazil in it. Mm, could be. I think it's a Wash Latin America, Washed, Colombia, yeah. Honduras. Honduras often comes up because they have a big volume. They produce a good, clean coffee and it's inexpensive relatively. So that's why I'm guessing Honduras. It has a chocolate finish, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. kind of Definitely a, has yeah. that. And that kind of butteriness in the mouthfeel and the, is a plus. Definitely. Definitely. I have some things going for it, I'd say. Oh yeah, I, I, I mean, yeah. I, I'll finish the coffee. Yeah. It's, it's a good coffee. It definitely is a, a different uh, style than the first. Oh, there's much more going on in, in Ralph's coffee. But uh, some people like this better, I think. What is it? Uh, 
Can we okay. reveal let's, this? Let's, baby? Yeah, let's let's uh, we could do it. Yes. And this is this uh, by the way, packaging wise, this is the one, you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if I could hand these out for Halloween, I would, you know. <laughs> 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 it's uh, 27 Club Coffee, and 27 Club is the brainchild of Machine Gun Kelly, being a Midwesterner, is a, is a lot of cachet. Where is he from? Machine Gun Kelly is actually from Ohio. Oh. It's from he's Cleveland. The, the skinny white guy with the pink guitar, yeah. right? Yeah, uh, I, yeah. I, I get the pink now, right. We got a picture of, of Machine Gun Kelly actually roasting coffee. So apparently he's really into coffee and they're actually working on a lighter coffee right now because lighter roasted because they've decided they want to push the envelope a little bit. Well, and bring up remember to, to give myself, <laughs> give me uh, credit. Yes. I said this is a uh, actor with a slightly rough edge. In I, this I, case, I, I, this yeah. is a, a singer, uh, right? I mean, he has yes. the, he has rap, he's, some kind of rap or hip hop, but he's sort of yeah, gone yeah. more commercial or more pop, right? <laughs> he's He's got uh, an edge though, and yeah, certainly right, yeah. it's a gut. When you said that, that's why I laughed. Yeah, I thought yeah. it was, but I that, thought it was uh, a good, very appropriate. The coffee <laughs> does not really live up to that splendid uh, package though. I mean, it's a little uh, half hearted, you know? Uh, if I saw that package, I expect some sort of over-the-top, screaming, heavy-bodied dark roast, you know? That. Wow. Yes. So, so I think, but that's all right. I'd rather drink this than the screaming over-the-top dark roast. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd like to try their it's a single origin they're bringing out, and it's going to be lighter roasted not darker roasted. And I'm hoping that, of course, it's a little more of a statement coffee from them because, yes, I, I think he's the type of guy that, and especially since he's truly into coffee, and uh, they convinced me anyway. Well, I'll have it's, to uh, sort of listen to some Machine Gun Kelly. Machine Gun yeah. Kelly, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. I thought the pink guitar is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Very... Very interesting that, yeah, he created this. And he said, the only thing I could find about its origins, by the way, is they claim African and South American coffee. Oh, really? Yeah. Africa, huh? Yeah, I well, have no idea what African well, coffee. It's, it didn't it's say It's almost Ethiopia. certainly uh, uh, Ethiopia. You think so? Okay. Yeah. So, but I well, don't get much in it. Uh, hey, I didn't get that either. What to be was honest. the uh, oxygen? Uh, yeah, tell me. 15 15%. That means that most likely it was not a nitrogen flushed. Not a nitrogen flush. Yeah. Yeah, that's wow. typical for a coffee that where they just drop the, the beans into the, wow. uh, into the bag, seal it without any kind of evacuation or displacement of the uh, atmosphere, of the air in the package. So. It's not bad, and well, anyhow, for, from a consumer point of view, this is an honorable company that, uh, it's cool, I mean, because uh, he's a kind of a hands-on kind of musician and performer, I guess, and uh, he's got a genuine specialty coffee. Ken, are you seeing this shot? Yeah, yeah, roast it on Okay. Me. Okay, good. I mean that's that's honorable. It that, would seem with that and, long rambling, yeah. uh, <laughs> but I did my best. <laughs> that's okay. The, the packaging <laughs> stuff's always kind of confusing. Well, well, it is even in the industry. I think it is. It's very widely. Well, uh, yeah, the industry doesn't communicate well to the to the consumer uh, what the options and uh, are. Because uh, the packages all look the same, they have a little valve with the hole in it, and they're sealed. And uh, but uh, you don't know whether it's been uh, flushed with nitrogen before it's been filled, or whether it hasn't. But if it hasn't, it should have a best uh, roasted on date.